Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down some Naya Slivers. And it looks like we have another unkeepable hand. We're going to mulligan to a keepable hand. I like it. Ooh, the decisions. Hmm. I think I dropped Gem Hide here. I don't like doing that. But, I mean, we've got Viverlint into plated Viverlint into Lord, which I think is just a nicer line anyways right now. It's a pretty fast clock. Let's see what they're on about. Plains. Uh, Plains. Island. All right. Fair enough. Preordain me. Uh, maybe we'll get lucky with that uh, double poisonous getting under counter spells magic. That'd be pretty nice. Oh, we're just drawn great. All right, cool. I like it. Pass. All right, they're a little bit slow. That's good. I like this. So now, decisions. Do we just play a Lord? Or do we go for the double poisonous? I think I just play a Lord here, honestly. Uh, I don't want to play into counter spells if I don't have to. If they're tapped out and they've got a slower start, I'm going to take advantage of that. We can always bait with a plated and then put down our Viverlin on a later turn. And depending on what they do here, we might be able to just... Oh, this is a familiar deck? Okay, that's straight, that's straight. I think they play with four spike too, don't they? Okay, well that's pretty awesome. Uh... But we kind of just need to race. Hopefully I don't get four spiked. Alright. No four spike. They're not going to block here. They're going to need this familiar to go off. So We got the clock. We got a good clock. We don't even need the triple poisonous to get there. But uh, we might try to take advantage of it still. Yep. Gain one life. Sure. And what do we got now? For three mana. Two mana? Mole Drifter evoked. Alright, get those card draws. Gain some life. Okay. Drawing another force would be nice here. Gem hide's not bad either, but I think we just need to continue pressuring. We can attack into all these things still. They kind of have to block now. Or they just want to go to one. Fair enough. Let's see if they can get the combo next turn. Plenty of mana. Let's see if they can get there. I don't know if they can this fast. We really pressured them a lot. Seagate. Into... Into what? Snap. My Predatory. Untap two lands. It's a good start. Another evoked mall drifter. They just need to chain a bunch of snaps, I guess. <laughs> they're gonna snap. Uh, yep, okay, they're gonna crack him like that. Dig a little bit more, get a mall drifter out. No big deal. Look at that. Look at that. All right, Ghostly Flicker is in. Snap is going down. All right, they're chaining the snaps. Regaining that life. That reset us. 
I just need to control Z here. That's my yield through into turn. Passing now? Alright. Turn off auto yields. Interesting. I got so many cards in hand. They have a full hand. Alright, at this point I think Gem Hide, maybe they're going to counter. I think they're getting ready to counter a Predatory. But I think Gem Hide's our best bet if we can do it, but we're not going to be able to. So we'll just play a Plated. Pass a turn. And see if they can recover from that uh, hit all the way to one. Fem right the Seagate at end of turn. We're just gonna yield through into turn again. See what happens. Mystic Sanctuary is not a good start for us. Are they passing? They're passing. All right. Interesting. Well, this is a bit awkward, but I guess we're just going to try to put down a Lord. Probably going to get countered. Another Prohibit. Okay, they're getting their extra turns. Archeomancer, turning what? What are you returning? Snap, all right. They're just resetting our entire board, this is crazy. If they can like reset us fully here, we'll, we'll just go to game two. <laughs> That's gonna be pretty hard to recover from this. Uh, maybe not impossible, but uh, by the time we recover, they're just going to... Well, Drifter, okay. They're just going to combo off, is my guess. There's another snap on their Seagate Oracle. Alright, they're going for something. They need to get the Ghostly Flicker Mystic Sanctuary Lock thing going, I believe. Yep. Draw two more. And it looks like that's it for the turn. They're getting close. Ash Barons. I'm just going to play that. Now they're tapped out, so... Let's get our Lords back down while they're tapped. No good attacks. That would have been the turn for a gem hide so we can just crank off. Alright. Seal till the end step, I guess. All 
Okay. Getting back ephemerates. Sunsape familiar. Everything's super, super cheap. Like, excellently cheap. Attacking in. Sure thing. They're going to put a clock on us. And they passing? No, not yet. Deep analysis. Sure. Return Mystic Sanctuary, I'm guessing. No? Okay. Deep analysis. Ah, there's the Sagro Denison. I think that'll be game. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's gonna be game. Unless, actually, no. Not quite game. We're going to make them... I'm going to provoke this boy. Provoke you. Provoke... Who else do we need to provoke? Provoke other good stuff. Provoke... Uh, you, I guess? I, I don't know. Provoke... You... And provoke one of the walls, I suppose? Sure. I'm going to say yes to all. Well. Hmm. Until I threw the mountain down, I wasn't realizing, like, oh yeah, the hunter play. Let's remove their board a little bit here. See what they can do to recover from this. I didn't trigger that one, did I? I think I triggered a Sunscape. I believe I triggered a Sunscape. So we're taking out Sagro, a Sunscape, the Archomancer, and the Seagate. So they can evoke and draw more cards. And they might be able to get them back. But I think this is the right play just to get these off the battlefield so they don't ephemerate them right away. And they have to like dig to find these guys again or something. I don't know. We're, we're gonna see how it plays out. Hunter might have really helped us. I don't know how many Sage Rose they actually play either in their deck. I know they don't play with like a full play set. So this will be uh, interesting to see. Okay. Locks happen. Pass the turn. Okay, another god pharaoh. Card draw, yep, yep. Snap my hunter. Makes sense. They don't want that happening again. It's an interesting game. I'm wondering if that did enough to 
slow them down to where we can possibly recover. I'm not sure if it will. I mean, I know they're going to set up more with more prohibits and stuff, but uh, I think it was our best bet. So many mull drifters. Those guys are going next. Wonder if it was better to get rid of some mall drifters just to get rid of car draw too. Uh, I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you guys would have done. Who would you have forced blocks with? Mall drifters? I I mean I the sage row is pretty important, so I think that one was something that we had to do, but Planes. Not exactly what I wanted to see. Let's try to put down a Viverlint. I mean, there's no way they don't have a counter spell here, right? So they chump, they chump, one loses. They have to, like, block a good amount. Let's see what happens. What's their snaps like? Three, four snaps in the graveyard, so that's good. I can let one go through and then they go to nine poisonous, and that's exactly what they're doing. Ghostly Flicker, they're Mole Drifters, okay. Still take three Poisonous. One prohibit, two prohibit. Uh, they gotta have the other prohibit, right? Ten cards in hand. Pretty ridiculous. I really want to go for it and just throw them down. Uh, it's rough. It's rough. I think we're just gonna pass. We're just gonna pass. Shouldn't they ephemerated a mall drifter? Wonder why they did the sunscape. Preordain. There's a Seagate or Oracle. So what are you going to target here? Or what are you going to put on top? I think we know about this, right? Yeah, it's exiled. Okay. Hurricane Mancer, they're getting their board back. Now they can return. What will they return? Wait, can I play to pro round prohibit? Did I make a mistake there? No. They're getting back snap. Okay. Snap on my Viverlint. My scary, scary Viverlint. And we win. Okay. They didn't want to go any further, I guess. We're drawing a Sidewinder. Sidewinder would have been helpful. Oh, they left the match. Okay. 
<laughs> sure, I'll take it. That was a good matchup. Uh, yeah, we beat uh, the familiar stack. That was a very interesting matchup. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed that one. They only stayed for one round, but uh, we're at 20 minutes already, so it was a good matchup. And uh, I guess they just got sick of the match. I don't know. They could have snapped and kept comboing a little bit, but maybe they just saw the writing on the wall that they would have to tap out at some point. Then we slam Hunter and just erase half their board again. I don't know. Maybe that's what they saw. Or maybe they just had to go. Either way is a good game. Leave a like, leave a comment. Make sure to subscribe. Stay tuned for more Nia Slivers. And we will see you guys in the next video.